Thank you. We're going to move on now to the topic of earn value. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's okay. Most of us don't like this topic, earn value. But in the next 15 minutes, we're going to share enough information to get every earn value question on the exam right. How does it feel to get everyone right? Great. Okay. Okay. To do earn value, first you need to have a plan. The plan needs to have three elements. The first element we need are scope. The project scope, we're building a fence. The fence will have four sides. Each side will be the same. We'll put our animals inside our fenced area. The second thing we need to use earn value, we need to have a schedule. In this project, the schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The third thing we need to have is a budget. The budget for our project, we call it our back, is $400. The plan is one side per day. The plan is $400 total, or we could say $100 per side. Now we have our plan, we begin the work. So we're working, we're working. We need a status report. What I have here in brown is our status reports. Okay? It's the end of the day on Tuesday. We only have one side complete. And we spent $400 for the one side that's complete. How are we doing? Okay. Not so good, bad. Just a little bad or really bad? Okay, really bad. We're doing really bad. But on the exam, really bad isn't going to be one of the choices. So we need to be a little more specific. In earn value, there's four critical terms. The first critical term is our budget. That was given in the problem statement. The next critical term we call planned value. It's a measure of how much work should be complete as of today. Sometimes we abbreviate it PV. I'll ask you, it's the end of the day on Tuesday. How many sides should be complete? Two sides. Two sides, great. So we should have two sides complete. Again, two sides won't be one of the answers on the exam. We know in earned value, all the answers will be in dollars. Based on the original budget, what's the value of two sides? $200. Okay, $200, great job. Our plan value is 200. The next critical term, so the third critical term, we call earned value. Sometimes we abbreviate it EV. EV is a measure of how much work is complete. Okay. One side complete. Let me ask you how much work is complete? How many sides? One side. Okay, one side, great. So we have one side complete. Sorry to say that won't be one of the answers on the exam. It will be in terms of dollars. Based on the original budget, what would you say is the value of one side? One hundred dollars. Okay. That would be the right answer on the exam. The last critical term we call actual cost. Often, this is the easiest one to figure out. So on the exam, if they asked you, okay, what is the actual cost, this is a measure of how much we've spent so far. What's our actual cost? $400, $400. great. Okay. So already, you get three of the earned value questions right on the exam. So we're doing great as far as preparing for the exam, but from a project standpoint, how are we doing? Bad. bad. Okay, is it really clear that we're doing really, really bad. bad? The next thing they might ask us on the exam, they might ask us what's called our SV. SV stands for schedule variance. Okay. So let me help you with this one. It's the end of the day on Tuesday. We should have two sides complete. We only have one side complete. Would you say we're ahead 
or would you say we're behind schedule? Behind. 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 Great. We're behind schedule. Okay. By how many sides? One. Okay, so we're behind schedule. Okay, we're behind schedule by one side. Again, the word side would not be on the exam. It would be in terms of dollars. If you had to convert one side to dollars based on the original budget, what would it be? $100. Okay, so great, it'd be $100. Now here's the tricky question. Would you make that $100 a positive number or a negative number? Okay. We'd make it a negative number because being behind is bad. Our schedule variance is a negative $100. You just got another exam question right. We solved this logically. That's what we want for the exam. We want to be able to understand it logically, but have a fallback position. The fallback is using an equation. Schedule variance is EV minus PV. EV, $100. PV, $200. If I subtract the equation, gives us the exact same answer that we got logically. So that's great. Let's take one more idea here. Okay. The next idea we're going to take is called cost variance. It looks at are we overrunning or are we underrunning? Again, let me help you get started here. Let's solve it logically first. I have one side complete. How much should it have cost for one side? The hundred dollars. We spent four hundred dollars for one side. Would you say we're overrunning or underrunning? Over okay, we're absolutely overrunning. And by how much? Okay, we're overrunning by three hundred dollars. Again, think logically. Would you make that three hundred a positive number, or would you make that three hundred a negative number? Negative. 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 Our cost variance is a negative three hundred dollars. Just think. You got one of the hardest questions on the exam related to earned value correct, and you didn't even use an equation. You just solved it logically. Some of us, though, really like the equations. The equation for cost variance, it's EV minus AC. If we fill in the numbers, EV is 100, AC is 400, 100 minus 400, Okay, great, a negative $300. The answer we got logically, we got the same answer using the equation. On the exam, you don't want it to just be memorizing these equations. You want to use logic. That way, when you get to an answer, you can say, is that really what it should be? Or maybe I used the wrong equation. We've spent about 15 minutes on earned value. At this point, could you get every question right on the exam about earned value? Yes. yes. Okay. Was it worth the 15 minutes? Yes. Okay, absolutely. Great.